Hello. It's been a long time, but I'm back. Here's a story. Once upon a time, in a magical, faraway kingdom, a magical, faraway kingdom called. Once upon a time, in a magical faraway kingdom, whose name was there was a shoemaker who lived in a village. And in this village, he was very poor and very lowly and lonely. Lowly and lonely, which are two very bad combinations. And he was poor and he's looked down upon and basically not respected at all because the town is filled with slugs it's all its occupants all the population was slugs no one needed to choose so really it was a very bad career decision to become a shoemaker in such a town no one needed to choose no one has feet no wonder he's poor I mean, really, even his guidance counselor said, why do you have this obsession with making shoes all day? And he said, I don't know. I just love it. Which should have been a tip-off that he was crazy, because no one loves making shoes. I mean, seriously, there's a reason. Children in Guatemala get paid a dollar to do it with slave labor. There's a reason we have outcries and petitions about that sort of thing. Children in Guatemala don't like making shoes. They do it because they have to. But this guy, in the land of the far away land of making shoes all day. Even though he drove him to bankruptcy and he couldn't afford the materials, and his wife left him, and his children disavowed him, and the town spat on him whenever they looked at him. And really, everyone had contempt for his life, and would rather he just go away. He still may choose. It's almost kind of noble. But really, the man was insane. And he thought to himself, maybe, maybe out there, in the faraway world, there's someone out there who needs my shoes. Someone with feet. Which was a noble idea at the time. And he said, I'll go and find these people.